visit my website www.learnabhi.com or download our android application networking plus and practice online networking quiz interview questions and many more so guys what are you waiting for go and download it right now the link is in the description section below In our today's video, we are going to learn what is EIGRP, how does EIGRP protocol works, and how does EIGRP choose the best route to send the packets. At the end of this session, I am also going to take a surprise test and let's find out whether you are able to pass the test or not. This video may become little long because we are going to learn everything from the beginning. And at the end, we are also going to do the practical. So if you want to learn the complete process of EIGRP with live example, then watch this video till the end. Hello friends, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. Let's the tech begin. EIGRP stands for Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Now let's find out how does EIGRP works and how does it choose the route to send the packets. Unlike the other routing protocols, EIGRP uses four metrics that is bandwidth, delay, load and reliability to determine the best path to transmit the packets. The default metric used by EIGRP is bandwidth and delay. EIGRP uses the following table for the route discovery that is neighbor table, topology table, root table, successors and the feasible successor. Now let's find out how does this table works one by one. So let's start with the neighbor table. The neighbor table is used to store the conditions of directly connected neighbors. It means whether the directly connected router is in active or non-active status the neighbor table is going to store this information. For example, router 1 and router 2 are directly connected to each other. Here both the routers are going to send the hello packets after every 5 seconds. The two routers considered each other alive as long as they continue to exchange the packets. If the router unable to receive a hello packets in 5 seconds, it understands that the link is down and forward this information to another connected router and like this all the routers are getting up to date about the link failure of a particular router in the network. Now the next table is the topology table. The topology table is used to store the advertisement of the destination by the neighbors. The advertisement consists of the destination address, the neighbor that are linked with the destination and the matrix used by the neighbor to reach the destination. For example, router 1 want to reach to the router number 3. It is not going to receive any advertisement from the router number 3. Instead of this, it will receive the advertisement from the router number 2. Because router number 2 knows the best route to reach to the router number 3 and router number 1 knows the best route to reach to the router number 2. And like this, all the routers configured with EIGRP do the calculation and update the route to their routing table and choose the best route to transfer the packets. As we know that the routing table is used to store all the possible route to reach the destination and this is the main function of routing table. Next is the successor. The successor is the path with the best matrix. It means the successor is the best available route in the routing table to reach the destination and the router is going to choose this route first. Now. The last part is the feasible successor. A feasible successor is the backup route. A path is considered as feasible if the path distance is less than the original path to reach the destination. 
it becomes the first choice when the successor path is inactive or in the invalid status or you can say the visible successor is the second fastest available route to reach the destination now here is the live example where i will explain you how does the eigrp protocol works and how does it choose the route so that it will be easy for you to understand so this is the theory part in my next video i will explain you how to configure eigrp in a computer network and that is with the help of packet tracer now let's find out how does eigrp create a route and how does it choose the best possible route to send the packets so in this example there are four routers which is connected to each other and to reach on each router there are four possible route here i am going to show you how router 1 can reach to the router number 2 with the help of eigrp protocol so here the first possible route is route number 1 where router 1 is directly connected to the router number 2 and the link speed is 100 mb ps and let's take the 100 mbps networks feasible distance is 25 so when the router 1 will send the data to the router number 2 its feasible distance is 25 now let's look at the route number 2 in the route number 2 the router 1 will forward the packets to the router number 4 and its link speed is 1000 mbps So let's take the 1000 Mbps network's feasible distance as 5. Okay. So when the router one forward the packets to the router number four, its feasible distance is 5. Again, the router number four will forward these packets to the router number two, and again this link feasible distance is 5. So 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So the total feasible distance of the route number two is 10. Now let's look at the route number three. So in the route number three, the router one is going to forward the packet to the router number four, and its feasible distance is five. Now again, the router number four will forward this packet to the router number three, and its feasible distance is twenty-five. So five plus twenty-five is equal to thirty. Now the router number three is going to forward this packet to the router number two, and its feasible distance is 25 so 30 plus 25 is equal to 55 so the total feasible distance of the route number 3 is 55 got it now let's look at the last route so in the last route the router number 1 is going to forward the packet to the router number 3 and its feasible distance is 5 and again the router number 3 is going to forward this packet to the router number 2 and its feasible distance is 25 so 25 plus 5 is equal to 30 got it so the total feasible distance of the route number 4 is 30 now here the best possible route is the route number 2 because it has the lowest feasible distance and the router number 2 is going to choose the route number 2 for sending the packets and this route is called the successor because it is the first route the router 1 is going to choose for sending the packets got it now tell me which is the feasible successor here here the feasible successor will be route number 1 because it is the second fastest available route so here if the route number 2 that is the successor route get failed the router 1 is going to choose the route number 1 because it is a feasible successor and it is the second fastest available route to reach the destination so this is how the entire concept of eigrp works so guys hope you have enjoyed watching this video then please like share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below and now it's time for the surprise test and our today's question is what is the matrix used by eigrp protocol to determine the route and the question number 2 is what you call the best possible route for sending the packets in eigrp let me know these two answers in the comment section below and let's find out whether you are able to pass the test or not 
so guys this is all about today if you are new to this channel then consider subscribing it and also follow me on facebook instagram and download our networking plus android app all the important links are given in the description section below and don't forget to like share and comment on this video thanks for watching